All right, Shalom. We the Brothers of Great Millstone, Church in Birmingham, Alabama. And as always, before we begin, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shab, Hashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to our teachers, the apostles, and elders, Great Millstone. Yeah, me and the brother uh, Tazai one, you know, heading home from camp. You know, we just, you know, thinking about Yahweh Shah, you know, and how he he gave us this information, you know. He uh, died for us to receive this truth, man. And you got guys who, who don't want to, you know, worship Yahweh Shah, man, who don't want to reverence the king, man. You know, that's a that's a, a capital offense, man. The Lord going to judge you harshly on those things, man. You know? And uh, again, you know, I make sure the Lord Yahweh Shai, you know, he, he he died, you know, so we can get this information. Matter of fact, can you get uh, Revelation chapter 5? Start at the top. Because without Yahweh Shai, you know, paying that ultimate price, man, we wouldn't have this information. You know, we wouldn't have this understanding. You got it. Come, this is Revelation chapter 5 and verse 1. And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and on the backside sealed with seven seals. Yeah, the scriptures. Go ahead. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, who is worthy to open the book? And to loose the seals thereof. Go ahead. And no man in heaven, nor in earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. Continue. And I wept much. So just seeing that nobody was able to open up the scriptures, man, and he wept much, man. I could just understood that that was the keys to the kingdom, man. You know, to, to, to receive the understanding. You know, to come back into the good graces of the Heavenly Father. You got it. Kind. Because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, mm -hmm. neither to look thereon. Go ahead. And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not. Mm. Behold, the line of the tribe of Judah, mm. the root of David, yeah. hath prevailed to open the book. Yep. And to loose the seven seals thereof. Yeah, who was that? Yahweh Shai, man. You know? He 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 was able to look there on, man. He was able to loose the seven seals, you know, seven meaning completion, man. So us having this information is through Yahweh Shai. So why are you not supposed to reverence him? Why are you not supposed to worship him, man? You guys are crazy. You got it. And I be hell and low. In the midst of the throne and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders, stood a lamb as it had been slain. Yeah, as it had been slain. Who was that? Yahweh Shah, man. He literally died for our sins. Go ahead. Having seven horns and seven eyes. Your complete power, complete sight, spirit of prophecy. Go ahead. Which are the seven spirits of the Most High sent forth into all the earth. Yeah. The spirit of prophecy, man. That foresight. Go ahead. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. Mm -hmm. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and four and twenty elders fell down before the lamb. Well, hold up. The the the, the four and twenty lambs okay. fell down before the lamb. Okay. They worshiping you, I was shy. Go ahead. Having every one of them harps Come on, man. and golden vials full of odors, which are the prayers of the saints. Continue. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book mm -hmm. and to open the seals thereof, mm -hmm. for thou wast slain yeah. and hast redeemed us to the most high. See that? Uh, through your house shot being slain, he redeemed us to our power, man. Yeah. But you guys don't want to worship Yahweh Shah, man? What the fuck is wrong with you? Continue up. Come. And has redeemed us to the most high by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. Go ahead. And has made us unto our power 
kings and priests. Yeah, and that's what we're going to eventually be, kings and priests. But it starts by the way, the sacrifice of Yahweh Shad, man. Mm. You know, for us to attain this information, for us to be groomed in righteousness. Go ahead. And we shall reign on the earth. See, and we shall reign on the earth. So you guys who don't want to worship our Lord, Yahweh Shad, you, you're clearly going off, man. Mm. Let's get that Exodus 23. Because the Lord set up an order, man. You ain't going to skip over your house shot. <laughs> he was preferred before you. You got it. Uh, 23 and uh, 20. This is Exodus chapter 23 and verse 20. Behold, I sent an angel before thee mm -hmm. to keep thee in the way. Yeah, that's a that's a capital A, right? Okay. Yeah, that's your shot, man. And it's going to uh, explain clearer. Go ahead. And to bring thee into the place which I have prepared. Mm -hmm. Beware of him. Yeah, beware of him. Go ahead. And obey his voice. Yeah, what angel, you know, want you to, what, uh, Yahweh wants you to obey his voice. Continue. Provoke him not. Yeah, provoke him not. For he will not pardon your transgressions. Mm -hmm. For my name is in him. Yeah, it says for his name is in him. But it first said he will not pardon your transgressions. Well, who has that power, man? Who has the power to not part of your change? Well, it's Yahweh Shai. Right? Uh, let's get that word name, because it said my name is in him. Um, yep. That word name. So like, yeah. <coughs> Strong's H8034 show. It says name, reputation, fame, glory. See that? Glory. It says the name as de designation of power. It says in the Strong's, it says honor, authority. See, authority is authority character it says uh renowned report see <laughs> the report of the lord is, is is uh shown forth throughout the planet earth man and how he gets down man and you don't want to fear and reverence him what is that um you got some Live. uh psalms two kiss the sun Come. you know that's part of, part of his power, his rank, his authority, man. You look like the blue letter. May have taken out a couple definitions. Let me see if it's a, a root word. Let's see. Okay, 7760. Uh. <laughs> But it may be in the uh, the New Testament where it goes into the Lord's, uh, that word name, you know, uh, his power, his rank, and his authority. But it also said authority here. But yeah, that's that's uh, our Lord, Yahweh Shai, has jurisdiction over the planet Earth, man. <laughs> you, you, you think you're supposed to worship him. You got it out. Come, it's that Psalms 2 and 12. Mm -hmm. Kiss the sun. Yep. Lest he be angry. See that? Kiss the sun, lest he be angry. Reverence him, right? Worship him, right? Go ahead. And ye perish from the way mm -hmm. when his wrath is kindled <laughs> but a little. See that? When his wrath is kindled but a little, man. Okay. See, he has the power to forgive, you know, the power to condemn you. That's his wrath kindled but a little. But when it play out, it's going to be a lot. <laughs> it starts, you supposed to reverence the sun. That was it on that? You got it. Bless are all they that put their trust in him. That's beautiful. Bless are all they that put their trust in him. You see? Yeah. That's heavy, man. You guys also don't trust your own shot, man. You don't want to serve him. Oh, what is that? Uh, Let's get that real quick. Luke 19 and 27. Yeah, man, this is the penalty. <laughs> if you don't want to reverence and trust and worship Yahweh Shai, man. You got it. 
This is Luke mm -hmm. chapter 19 mm -hmm. and verse 27. But those mine enemies, yeah. which would not that I should reign over them. Yeah, see? Go ahead. Bring hither mm -hmm. and slay them before me. That's it, man. You don't want to work, worship your house shot? Well, he's going to bring you here, then you're going to he gonna slay mm -hmm. your ass, man. Point blade, period. Mm -hmm. Lord ain't fucking around with you. Either you're going to get down or you're going to lay down, man. You see? Let's get that Colossians. Mm -hmm. One. Let's say uh, Colossians 1 and like a uh, 15. Let me see. Maybe 13. Yeah, man. You guys obviously don't don't study the scriptures because if you did, you you will understand these things, man. Uh, yep. Let's start at thirteen. Uh, this is Colossians chapter one, verse thirteen. Who has delivered? So like it. Who has delivered us from the power of darkness? Yep. And has translated us. Into the kingdom of his dear son. <laughs> Go ahead. In whom we have redemption through yep. his blood. Through his blood. Through whose blood? Yahweh Shai's blood. Go ahead. Even the forgiveness of sin. Come on, man. <laughs> you got it. Who is the image of the invisible power? Mm -hmm. The first bird. So, like, the firstborn of every creature. Yeah, the firstborn. Yahweh Shai was before, before everybody, man. The firstborn of every creature. Go ahead. For by him were all things created mm -hmm. that are in heaven mm -hmm. and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. Yep. All things were created by him and for him. See, all things were created by him and for him. That's why the Lord, as I was able to tell Esau, you're going to have the, the fatness of the earth, man. Mm -hmm. But he also told Jacob... Uh, you're going to eventually be ruler, man, over the planet Earth, man. That's who has the jurisdiction, thrones, and dominions. Yahweh Shai. What are you supposed to worship? Go ahead. And he is before all things, mm -hmm. and by him all things consist. <laughs> See, and by him all things consist. So, yes, you are supposed to worship Yahweh Shai, man. You know? That's why that these guys don't even consider that, man. And you got Sakari saying that you don't supposed to worship the Lord, man. You guys plainly going off, man. He died for our sins, man. Let's get that, uh, yeah, let's get that in Matthew. Matthew 28, starting like 16. Yeah, we meditating on that, man. That shit pissed us off, man. Knowing the sacrifice that Yahweh Shah did for us to get this information, man. And coming to this wise council, you niggas don't want to worship him, man. Go ahead, all right. Come on. This is Matthew chapter 28, verse 16. Then the eleven disciples went away into Galilee, mm -hmm. into a mountain where Yahweh Shai had appointed them. Go ahead. And when they saw him, they worshipped him. What up? They worshipped him. See that? The eleven worshipped Yahweh Shai, man. You see that? And of course, this is after his resurrection and all that, man. Those many great miracles they were seeing. So they gave reverence to the king. You got it. But some doubted. Yeah, some, hey, some and and this time some doubted too. Them the ones that also don't want to worship our Lord Yahweh Shai, man. You got it. And Yahweh Shai came and spake unto them, saying, "All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth." See that all power is given unto Yahweh Shai in heaven and in earth, man. All power, man. So yes, you supposed to uh, kiss the sun. Worship Yahweh Shah, man. Because he has the power to forgive your sins or not, man. Whether you whether you niggas want to like or believe it or not, man. When Yahweh Shah turn, he going he gonna to look at you as enemies. Okay? Because you don't want to worship. <laughs> you don't want to worship our Lord Yahweh Shah, man. For all the stuff that he did for you, man. That's crazy, man. But hey, we pray this has been edifying. We want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to our teachers, the apostles, and elders, great millstone. Shalom. Shalom.